fire. Really? It was smoking bad. <laughs> How much oil did I put in there, Nick? I don't even remember. You put, you added. Yeah. Added. You added. Four quarts. Rookie mistake, right here. I did not see you add that. This, I was way too excited, like we were saying, and I probably, I hope I didn't fuck it up, but we'll see. We got it. I let Nick top her off this time. <laughs> Controlled environment. And we're gonna just go drive it around and see if we get more smoke. Maybe we can clear out the smoke. Hopefully we didn't do too much damage. I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, I was gonna get a battery. So it, we're gonna go ahead and take it out for another spin. We're gonna go around a long ways and just not boost it as much and just see if what happens. In a minute. Eject those cedo, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, round number two. Yep, like we said, we're gonna do a nice easy test run. Make sure it's not smoking. Hold up. <laughs> they're, they're saying I might have, if I wanted to push like that, I might have drove it home like that and then it would have been even worse. Yeah. Yeah. First impression of the turbo manifold. Besides the whole overfilling the oil thing. Besides all that, I, honestly, I don't think it sounds much different than the OEM one, but it definitely you can get you get more noises out of it mm -hmm. than the uh, stock one. So would you say uh, it's worth changing the manifold <laughs> when if you're prepared for it? Like, I didn't know that you would need an oil return line. I thought that that was going to mount back up. Because it's the only thing we're changing is one part, but one part you need an oil return line. That's really it. Yeah. And then make sure you take your battery box out, your all your intake lines out to get to the, to take the turbo loose. Because you can't get it separate from them. That was the biggest thing that took us longest. Like, besides our other issue. It's good to get new hardware. New, new hardware. Um, if you can afford it, definitely replace the turbo. Yeah. Because especially you have quite a bit of shaft play. It does, and I know we're going to be doing this again. And we had talked about doing like a GT35, or I'm actually leaning more towards a GT3076 to go in that route. Yeah, like 
we'll have to check the welds and make sure see if anything cracked, you know, yeah, stuff like that. But it, as far as that, I mean, it works out pretty good. It, for the most part, everything bolts and smoothly together. Yeah. There was just the stock old stuff that was our issue. Stock old rusted stuff. Yeah. And I checked the manifold beforehand with a straight edge to see if it was flat, and it, it appeared pretty, pretty flat. I mean, I didn't see anything that looked like it was going to be an issue. Right. But hey, coolant's holding. It's hot as fucking here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Are you sure that's all the way cool? Well, the speed is back on the road again. He's going to drive it home. And it looks like we we should be good, so. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Go ahead, Ryan. Give it a couple rounds.